Well, it was a cold afternoon at St Paul's Sports Ground, Salter Road in Rotherhive. A couple of people asked me, is this where I can see Mill Lionesses play Dartford? And I said, what are you doing here then? Oh, we, we've come to look at the Lionesses, they said. Well, and Dartford too. Dartford have probably been one of the most consistent teams in this league for a few years now and are a quality side. And that's how the day started. Well, the game kicked off with a remembrance ceremony and the captains of both sides laid a wreath in the centre of the pitch and a minute's silence was held by the referee. Once that was over, the sides lined up for the kick-off. It wasn't long before Dartford showed that their aim was to get balls into the Millwall half as quick as they could and as far down the pitch as they could manage. They adopted this type of play throughout, but sadly come unstuck when Amy Nash scored direct from the corner. An incredible curve ball that beat their keeper and found itself in the back of the net. On 28, Chloe Burr managed to bring a ball around and over their keeper and make it 2-0. And it looked like the Lionesses were cruising even though Dartford had caused a lot of problems in the Lionesses' defence. But a good back four and a very capable goalkeeper kept them at bay. So at half-time, it was Mill Lionesses 2, Dartford 0. No sooner had the second half begun, Dartford had got one back. And it seemed to give them momentum to push and push and push the Lionesses as far back as they could, but they remained strong throughout and actually could have had a couple of goals on the break. And eventually they did, and that was in the 81st minute when Molly Hawkins broke through as the ball came out of defence and Molly got between two defenders and got in front of them but struck the goalkeeper with her shot. She went to the right of the keeper as the ball went to the right as well. From a narrow angle, she'd push the ball back into the net to make it 3-1. And it was all pretty academic from there on in. Dartford continued to try to get something back, but actually the Lionesses looked more the likely ones to get another one. And after 90 minutes, and the Lionesses were in seventh heaven. I caught up with Lionesses boss, Jack Wheeler, after the game and asked him what his reaction to that performance was. Really pleased with the performance of the girls. They all dug in today. It wasn't necessarily about playing too much football today. It was more about just making sure that we'd done what we needed to do, especially going two them up at half time and seeing the game out. And I thought the girls put in a professional performance, all stuck together and managed to get the three points, which is a massive three points against a very good Dartford team. So they've always been up and around the top of the league, which shows kind of potential what we've got here at Mill Line. This is That's fantastic. And Jack, what we won't do is push you any further because this Friday we'll have you on our Millwall fan show and we look forward to that and to speaking to you in more depth then. No problem. Well done. Seventh heaven. Cheers, mate. Take care. And you. I also caught up with Millie Connell, a defender for the Lionesses, and here's what she had to say. Well, that was a great result here today. Goals from Amy Nash, Chloe Burr and, and Molly Hawkins. We thought she'd score first off, but she managed to get the <laughs> rebound and get in the back of the net. But a great performance all round by the team. What do you reckon? Great performance by the team. I mean, seven wins on a bounce now. We've got the momentum now to keep going and on to the FA Cup next weekend. That's right. And we'll talk about that. But Millie Connell, probably one of the longest serving lionesses yeah. in the team. Through from the Millwall RTC. You did start off some sort of Russian team before that. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Well, uh, this is my fifth season at Millwall now. I came here from the under-14s and managed to work my way up into the first team. Yeah. And well done you. Thank you. Keep it going and long may it last. Yeah, let's hope so. So Wimbledon up next, FA yeah. Cup, what do you Big reckon? Game. It's going to be a challenging game. I mean, they're a league above us, so we're going to have to put a shift in, but I don't doubt us one bit. The way we've been going, I think. The heart that you're all showing but, is yeah, ever so tremendous. Shift, yeah. 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 Well, all the best with that. Thank you. Lovely to speak to you, and Millie. You. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.